Assalamu alaikum everyone and oh Bitcoin welcome back to Bitcoin update it's Wednesday the 5th of October and we're looking at Bitcoin making some stupid move I don't understand what he wants to do but it's stupid as heck and it's always stupid ever since it was born back in 2009 it's 2022 but nothing has changed and it's still stupid but this, uh, there's an interesting conversation we're going to have in this video and uh, right now what I do see is that, you know Bitcoin has already come up to one particular resistance but we're still looking for, 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 for two things okay. Now we do have this area of influence okay that's a little bit of resistance right over there and uh, Bitcoin is still struggling to get above it so you could even get rejected right here and start to go down who knows but there's a technical target with that which is an ascending triangle that takes you up to 20,800 or 900 so expect it to go up there it, now this is for me not a very high probability setup and by high probability I mean the chances are not like high I cannot really say you're gonna go down from here or just continue I mean yeah it's a technical target to go there but we had this talk previously as well that when you do go up here you're gonna find one huge resistance because uh, that was your last resistance and let me show you this thing okay uh, let's actually talk about Bitcoin so stick until the end it's gonna be an amazing conversation on, on, on this one All right so um, uh, the line of resistance let's actually study this one because whenever you went up there you got rejected massively before you dropped down huge time like this was the very first place you got rejected and you had that huge huge drop to the downside right and then you went up to that very same line got rejected and that's where you made another sharp drop to the downside now that you're going up like this you're looking to maybe get again rejected here and do you, do you know what a hammer is so you get hit by a hammer right there and then you start to pop to the downside again and move all the way to maybe 15,000 until you don't get to cross back up and that's actually a very bullish pattern because this is a descending broadening wedge if you if you're going to actually do something like this when you break out in the future you're looking to go back up to 24,000 maybe that could be an amazing entry down at 15,000 boom you go all the way up and that's a 64% move up imagine what the altcoins are going to do that's an easy 110% up for the altcoins. Now, if it, of course, if it does that, I would recommend to make some little bit of a buying here. I'm going to do a buying, definitely. I'm 100% going to be buying down there if it does come down there because that's where I'm, I'm, go I'm going to do some uh, few accumulations. And that's where I do, I do want to tell you what my teacher told me back in 2020. So it was this day we were sitting down uh, at the university and, uh, you know, it was it was when the coronavirus was starting to get popular back in 2020 and everyone was scared as heck everyone had masks on their faces and we were sitting on class and it, and and I was in this subject called entrepreneurship right so uh now you definitely have guessed that the teacher is an entrepreneur teacher and he thinks business wise so the way he thinks business wise he, he has a lot of knowledge to be honest uh, he's he has really a diversified mind he has a lot of knowledge in so many different areas uh in so many different different fields so he goes on and tells us hey kids um you, you know what uh, it's it's really bad in here and uh, the, there's a lot of crisis going on the coronavirus is becoming way more dangerous there's no vaccine and a lot of people are dying the especially the old people are dying and they don't have their uh you know intestines or you know they're, they're not having that they their digestive system are not good enough to handle the virus itself right so be, because this uh, virus actually uh, damaged the people who are old because their digestive system is not as strong as the young young guys and and they and the grown up men so um, he said that the university has announced that you're going to have holidays, you're going to sit at home, you're going to be quarantined and everyone's going to stay at home. And it was during that very class, um, I do remember, I was in crypto at that time, by the way, I was investing, I was like nearly like 20 years old at that time, maybe or 22 years old, uh, actually 22 years old. I started when I was 19 uh, into crypto. So um, he went on and said that you know things have crashed down and this is what he said and I do remember that time and I underestimated what he said and he said uh, the things that were priced for gold are have crashed down so badly that you just can buy them for the uh, for the price of literally just sand 
okay? Just like you can easily get a sand outside and soil outside, it's non-valued. You can grab a lot of this thing cheap. But do you know uh, the, how the market works? When crashes like that happen, I remember I had BNBs, okay? I had Ethereum. Uh, at those times, I saw Ethereum plumping all the way down from $1,000 going all the way to $180. I saw BNB plumping down uh, from, from, you know, uh, you know, uh, like $25, I, see, I used to see BNB at $25, going all the way down to $8. And I didn't hear that. I thought that this thing went to death and they were just bullshit. <laughs> you know, sorry for the language here. And I was like, no, they're dead. And actually, that was the investing opportunity of a lifetime because what happened next is that we saw this $180 Ethereum going all the way to nearly $5,000. We, we saw this $8 BNB going all the way to $600, right? which has proved that crashes to the downside are investing opportunity and it has always been like that. And I think maybe this time is the time for me to talk about what my teacher said and in his own words, we're in one heck of an opportunity for Bitcoin. If it does come down here, which is my prediction, probably I could be invalidated, but it, it doesn't matter. Nobody knows it's gonna go down there. That's just my own personal take on it because of a bear flag on the monthly, of course. But then again, what really matters here is that Bitcoin, from the all-time high of $69,000, it's down 72%, right? Historically, Bitcoin bottoms out when it does, you know, um, at least 84%. And even if you talk about 83%, it's $11,000, $12,000. I expect it to actually go there. And by November and December, a lot of technical analysts are saying that that's when the bottom is going to be in. And, you know, this is a wick down here at 17,600, which also I, I've been saying this again and again. Bitcoin loves to take the wicks out. I mean, let me give you the proof why they love to take the wick out. Now, we did have this wick right over there. They took out that wick. We had another wick down over here. They push it a little bit higher and then they took out the wick. Another wick right there. They took it higher. They took out the wick as well. You have another wick right here. They're pushing the prices higher a little bit. I do see it making one more step and that's where you're going to be inching near close, close to the bottom. Okay. 8,000, 9,000, 7,000 could be the bottom. Uh, but I'm gonna be accumulating from 15,000 because then again, uh, when we were up here at 69,000, people said it's not the top because we don't have a blow off top. We don't have that, uh, if, if you don't know blow off top means that you don't have that huge green candles to the upside. And now people are saying you don't have that capitulation. So anything can happen, anything goes. Uh, for, for, for now, the only thing I can say because this channel is meant to help people, not a financial advice, do your own research, your investment should be something that you're ready to lose. But the thing is that what I will say is that I'm already invested like 50% for ever since he was down at 17,000. I actually started buying when this crash happened here. Now, if it does go down, that's why I'm doing more and more and more DCA because the only best friend you have right now is dollar cost average. And boy, oh boy, I'm looking for this one for a long run. And I'm looking for a bigger bull run, not, not small trades, not bigger trades, but cycles. I'm talking about cycle, huge monster cycle like this up mark up mark down and i'm looking for the, another mark up to sell and that's pretty much it hope you enjoy this bitcoin update if you want to learn about more on, on how to be smart you can check my training course of course and how i make judgments in the market and i'm going to see you the next one hello office